The Aster 1P satellite was successfully launched by a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, US, on June 20, 2024, at 5:35 p.m. local time. The Kuban satellite will augment and strengthen Luxembourg-based satellite operator CESA's prime European orbital position 19.2 degrees east, delivering content for public and commercial broadcasters, sports organizations and content owners to audiences across the largest European TV markets. Astra 1P will also ensure the delivery of premium HD content directly to subscribers of HD+, CESA's high-definition satellite TV platform in Germany. Built by Tali's Alenia Space, Astra 1P is based on the 100% electric space bus NEO platform and features 80 transponders capable of delivering 500 HD TV channels. It is the most powerful satellite to operate at 19.2 degrees east, seamlessly replacing the current four satellites at the orbital location and continuing their mission of serving 119 million TV households. LAVO has announced that Jamie Dunn is taking on additional responsibility as member of the executive board and deputy CEO, sharing in legal responsibility for the company. Dunn joined LAVO in 2011. Since 2019, he held the position of chief commercial officer. The promotion means he assumes legal responsibility alongside CEO Philip Lavo and Klaus Gartner, who joined the company as chief financial officer and member of the executive board last November. Presently, Lavo's management board consists of Dunn, Gartner, Andreas Hilmer, chief marketing officer, Christian Lukic, chief supply chain officer, Phil Myers, chief technology officer, Ulrich Schnab, chief operating officer, and Claudia Nowak, chief financial officer and member of the executive board who will retire at the end of September 2024 and join the company's supervisory board. Vizardi has launched VizTrio Go, an out-of-the-box 3D graphics creation and control tool that combines compact hardware with the VizTrio graphics control application and Viz Engine, the company's graphics platform that enables complete graphics production via NDI workflows. The offering gives local and regional TV stations and OB van operators access to a high-quality graphics solution at an affordable price. It enables any size broadcaster to create high-quality visuals easily regardless of budget and technical expertise. VizTrio Go is a plug-and-play solution which comes with free customizable graphics packages modeled on the graphics of top sports and news broadcasters. Templates are easy to modify using the Viz Artist 3D Motion Graphics Design Tool. Coda Audio has introduced the Hop 7 Pro, adding on to its Hops Pro, high output point source, range of loudspeakers. As the smallest model in the line, measuring 518 by 190 by 273 millimeters and weighing 9.2 kilograms, the high output, two-way full range unit sports a 1.75 inch mid high ring diaphragm neodymium driver and dual 6.5 neodymium ultra low distortion cone drivers and provides high power handling of 1000 watt. The Hop 7 Pro features Coda's latest dynamic airflow cooling technology, which the company says improves heat dissipation, reducing power compression, and increasing maximum achievable SBL to 139 decibel. Wohler Technologies has appointed John Ernest Vice President of Global Sales and Marketing. Ernest joins the company's executive management team after spending nearly 30 years collaborating with some of the world's largest broadcasters, MSOs, DTH providers, and telecom companies. He has a wealth of industry experience having held global sales and marketing positions focused on the IP networking, outside plant GIS and broadcast and media sectors. Dear colleagues, if you want your news to be included in Briefly, please contact us in the comments. Let's make news together.